In this video, I'm showing you Blackmagic Cloud and the benefits that it gives you to be able to edit collaboratively together with others in DaVinci Resolve. This video is actually part two of a series I've done with John from here to record. And over on his channel, we showed how the new CloudPod and Cloud Store devices enable you to easily sync footage between multiple locations for remote editing. So make sure you watch his video after you've watched this one. I put the link down in the description below. So I've got my Blackmagic Cloud Store Mini just off to the side here. And it's basically an eight terabyte SSD hard drive with super fast 10 gigabit networking and the built-in ability to sync your files automatically with services like Google Drive and Dropbox. John and I have set up a shared Dropbox folder. So whenever he adds files to his cloud pod in Sweden, they automatically get uploaded to Dropbox and then my cloud store here in the UK instantly downloads them ready for me to use and vice versa. And this is perfect because it means that we both have a local copy of all the assets and the footage that we need to edit the video. But how do we both work on the edit together at the same time? Well, that is where Blackmagic Cloud comes in because it allows you to create a DaVinci Resolve project server in the cloud so that your editing project can be accessed anywhere in the world and worked on by multiple people at the same time. First go to cloud.blackmagicdesign.com and sign up for a free account. Then create a project server. Now each project server does cost $5 per month, but you can house as many projects within that server as you like. And if at any point you feel like you don't need your projects in the cloud anymore, all you do is just download them to your local machine and cancel the subscription. You're not tied in to keep paying and paying and paying. Now, once you've created your project server on the web, you can then open up DaVinci Resolve, click cloud in the top left, and then log in using your new Blackmagic Cloud account. You'll then be able to create new projects like normal in DaVinci, but now the project files are being hosted in the cloud and can be collaborative if you want them to. So let's find out what you can do with it. So first off then, I'm actually gonna invite John as a member to my cloud project server here using his Blackmagic Cloud account. Then I'm gonna open up the project here and go up to file and select multi-user collaboration. And this is what will allow both myself and John to work on the file at the same time. I can see who's in the project at any time by clicking down here and it will show me a list of members. And I can even text chat with other members right inside of DaVinci here. But for this demo, myself and John actually have a Zoom call running in the background so we can talk to each other while we work. So John, take a look at the first draft, go through the timeline and let me know if you've got any feedback. Yeah, it's actually looking good so far, but I think we should add some B-roll shots in there. I can add a quick marker here so you know where to put them. As John adds markers onto his timeline, they appear instantly in my timeline too. So I can go away and start working on adding the B-roll while he continues to review the rest of the video. Right, I've added a couple of the B-roll clips now, so take a look, tell me what you think. Yeah, that looks good. I think I'll just change the order of them a bit here. Any changes that John makes to the timeline and I get this icon appear in the top right-hand corner of my viewer telling me that changes have been made. And then if I click it, it instantly updates my timeline with all of the changes that John just made. When one member starts editing the timeline, it locks the timeline and puts everybody else in a read-only mode. So you don't get multiple people all trying to make changes to the same clip at the same time. All other members can see who's working on a timeline because their user icon appears in the media pool and next to the viewer. And whoever has control of a timeline can easily unlock it to allow others to start making changes by right-clicking on the timeline in the media pool, selecting timelines, and then clicking unlock timeline to then allow others to start making their changes. You also can have one person working in the timeline while another person is working in the color tab at the same time. So let's do a couple of color tweaks while John finishes off the edit. As I'm adjusting the color to this clip, John will actually see a yellow update icon appear in his viewer. And if he clicks that icon, it will then apply my color grades to his timeline. So you can see how easy it would be for multiple people to be working on an edit at the same time. So John, what do you think? Are we good to go? Yeah, I think so. Now, before we get onto the big benefits that Blackmagic Cloud gives you for exporting a video, let me tell you about today's sponsor, QNAP. QNAP creates a wide variety of network attached storage devices. A NAS, as they're known in short, is a bit like a giant hard drive that stores all of your data in one safe and central location, but it's connected to your network. So multiple people and devices can access and work from it at the same time, whether that be from home, in your office, or remotely from anywhere in the world. They offer a wide range of features like 10 gigabit ethernet and Thunderbolt 3 connectivity for blisteringly fast file transfers and a whole host of apps too, 
like my personal favorite, the hybrid backup and sync app, which will automatically take care of regularly backing up your data either locally or to the cloud. QNAP's NASes are scalable and flexible. You purchase the size of the NAS you need and then populate it with whatever hard drive sizes you require. Take my QNAP for example. I've got five of Western Digital's Red Plus 12 terabyte hard drives that give me a total of 60 terabytes worth of storage. Plenty for all my video editing projects. I've also fitted four Western Digital SSDs to get even faster read and write speeds thanks to SSD caching. I went with the Western Digital drives as they're optimized and specifically designed for use in a NAS enclosure and are tested for 24 seven use. If you want to find out more about my NAS setup and how it has completely changed the way I work, check out my video linked in the description below. There's also a link to QNAP's website below so you can check out their range of fantastic NASs in more detail. Now because John has all of the original media and access to the DaVinci project file in the cloud, I don't have to spend a bunch of time rendering out the export and uploading it to something like WeTransfer to send it to him. Instead, all he needs to do is head to the Deliver tab in DaVinci Resolve and export it himself, which saves a ton of time. And while his machine is busy rendering out the main video, I still have full access to the project on my machine. So I could then be utilizing that time to create social clips, for example, and reformatting the main video to 9x16 for social sites like TikTok and Instagram. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I've seen just a glimpse of how powerful Blackmagic Cloud can be for collaborative editing. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help. Also, if you've really enjoyed it, why not just check that you've got that subscribe button hit, the notification bell turned on, and then you'll be notified when new videos just like this land on my channel. Remember to see the full video on how to use the cloud pod and the cloud store to sync footage between multiple locations. Head over to the here to record channel now. Just click the video about here, or I'll put the link down in the description below as well. And finally, if you need help with your setup, my email address is on screen now. You can ping me an email and we'll set up a one-to-one -one consulting session and get all of your broadcast questions answered. And once you've done all that, guys, I will see you on the next video.